everybody, welcome back to Civilization V. Now, oh my god, I st I'm still... I'm, I'm coming back to this a couple of days later, because I had stuff to do. But, my god, I didn't really bask in how great this start was, did I? Let's build, like, a monument or some crap here, I don't know, just, just get that out of the way. Um, I want to explore this area, so I'm thinking maybe... Maybe a, a scout? I could buy one. Yeah, let's just buy one out here. Um, what's growing? Beijing? Okay. I also want to get this salt and uh, the sweet hooked up. God, this is such a good city! Um, in case you can't tell why this is a good city, this has a mountain right next to it, which means that I can build an observatory in it later which increases science output by plus 50%, um, along with uh, salt, which is the best luxury resource in the game, because it gives you food, production, and gold, as well as happiness, just for mining it and just for working it. Um, wheat, which is really good for growth, obviously. Uh, I mean, obviously, it, it, it's wheat. Think about it in real life. <laughs> um... Wait, do I have calendar yet? Oh, I just finished it. Okay. Um, and it's also by a river, which means that in the future I can get a hydro plant. And for every single tile that's next to a river, so let's see, that within range, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... Uh, you know, at least 12 or 13 tiles will have plus one production next to it. So, it's and it's defendable. I mean, all I mean, all of this is like rough terrain, which makes it hard to get to. So, so now we need writing. We we can't we can't put that off any longer. That's just gonna be that's gonna that's gonna have horrible consequences if we just try and put off signs for too long. Okay, and I forgot to set my timer. That's already a good, already a good sign. So this episode's going to be a bit longer than normal, and except for that, there's no normal because I just started the series. So hooray! Okay, let's. I gotta carefully navigate this because my archer is very squishy right now. Gosh, I can't believe how lucky I was with this start. I mean, sure, it kind of sucks that I can't take advantage of Mao's unique bonus, but at the same time, this is a really good start. Um, and to have this all to myself is is something else. Oh, another city-state. Yeah, there's no one here because I no one's met that city-state yet. Hmm, how do I go about this? I think I would feel more comfortable if I just healed up for a sec. All right, let's. I, I'm I'm watching this area because I don't want this archer to die. I want him to be safe and happy. I want him to live a happy, fulfilling life. Oh my God, he's going to die. Um. Let's see. Oh God, what should we build now? Uh, uh, I could settle city right here, that might be nice. I could have access to the iron, um, to all these fish tiles, as well as some sugar. Uh, problems with it, I guess it might be hard to get sustainable food over time. Oh, oh, and I'm also really sorry. I'll turn these off because I know how abrasive they are to look at for most people. I just like it because it's really helpful. And I'm usually used to looking at spreadsheets anyways, so it's like I want the most information out of everything. So I know that's really abrasive to look at, and I apologize for having that on there. I think we could probably benefit the most from another worker, to be honest. We don't really need any more warrior units. So yeah, I think that's going to have to do it as another worker. 
unless I can steal one. I might steal one, actually. I might steal another worker. Or I might steal a worker. So that I can have another one. And I'll, I want it. I want my. I want Beijing to grow a little bit before I start another settler. So, um, and there's no real rush to get any more military units. So I guess I would build a granary, but or I would build a barracks, but eh. Oh, yes, you don't know how delicious that is. Oh, yes, that, mm. Yeah, just, just leave him outside, just, come on. Come on, Bagoda, do it. Just leave him there, it's fine, he's not gonna, nothing's gonna happen to him. Bagoda targets a nearby encampment. Oh, that one. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one, actually, so... Hmm. <laughs> um. Oh no, we're gonna dip into unhappiness, aren't we? If I let this city grow, then we're gonna become unhappy, which is just really, really, really bad, because it inhibits all of our growth. So, here, let's let's try and like stop growth as much as possible. Yeah, I think that's that's the best way. Yeah. I, I, I don't I can't let the city grow until I have this wine hooked up so that I have the happiness. I don't have any wine, right? No, I don't. Okay. I do want to get that archer moving and back into my home territory though. That'll be helpful. Did this guy get attacked? Why aren't you attacking the barbarian, you fool? Fine, I'll take care of him. I'll clean up. These are just these are literally guys with sticks like fighting hardened warriors, like hardened serial murderers and rapists. And you're telling me your your militia can't do anything? God, losers. Gold. What? Oh, they want gold. Greedy bastards. You know what? He's not gonna die if that barbarian comes and hits us, so might as well just start doing damage to him. Oh my god. I just want this. I want your worker. Is that too much to ask for? Is it? Fine, you can just, you can deal with that, you know? I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm not gonna deal with your crap right now. Tianjin has grown. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I would work to. Well... I think I'm gonna do that. <sighs> oh my god. They have boats now! They're evolving. Does their power know no bounds? Hey, buddy. How are, uh, how are you doing? Alright. You have fun there, buddy. Okay, so... What would benefit... Uh, what, would, what would benefit us most right now? Um... Now that we finally have freaking writing. And by the way... I could buy a library. I think I would prefer to buy a library in my other city. So... Uh, yeah, just... What, you know what? Just finish the granary. There's no reason not to. Um... I think the wheel would really 
help us right now. I'm gonna go for animal husbandry so that I can find out where horses are, go for archery, and then the wheel. I want to find out where horses are because that'll help me kind of figure out what um, what spots are good to settle. I mean, I mean, there are already a lot of good spots to settle, but um, in terms of uh, strategic resources as well as everything else, so. Oh no, you poor bastard. I don't want him to die because I actually, like, spent money on him, so I would prefer for him not to bite the dust. Thank you, Bugoda, you beautiful bastards. Oh, no. This is just... This is a slaughter, isn't it? Well, actually, they're defending themselves pretty well. I can't kill them, can I? Yeah, no, I can't. That's just a horrible idea. Um... Here, you guys, you can grow now! You can... You can grow. Oh, no. You can feed your children. You don't have to starve them anymore. I did this for you, you ungrateful bastards. The reason I want to discover the wheel is because that's gonna... No, because that's going to help connect our cities, which will generate revenue and also make it easier for our workers to travel back and forth, so. Okay, sweet. I, I want this guy to survive, so. I can't believe our scout actually survived, like, a barbarian onslaught. Ah, oh, what badasses. Uh, I don't know. You you just, you do you, man. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I would have you build a road, but we don't have the ability to build roads yet. We haven't invented roads yet, so that's unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, I can send this guy up here, and then he can shoot all over the place, so... Okay, where do I... You can grow now, so where should we... Actually, do I want that? Because that is some really poor production there, friend. Yeah, no, that's only four extra turns. When, in reality, this is going to need a lot more production. So, I think I might, I might as well just get a granary in there as well. Especially since we have wheat, because Granary gets a special bonus for every source of wheat that they have. Um, mm, I almost forgot. Bigoda's worker might be out by now. Oh, okay. Wow, that is a lot of them. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, delicious! Uh, okay. I'll send you down here, buddy. You can... I know there are barbarians, but you know what? You're just gonna have to stop being a bitch. Deal with it. Beijing has grown. That's good. That is good. Um, I need you to hook up this salt because... Goddamn, we are not doing well on happiness here. Do we have any policies that we can enact that'll give us more happiness? Ouch! Why would you do that? Send this guy over here, send him over here. Can we still attack? Yes, we can. Pew! Pew! 
Okay. There we go. Make peace. Ooh, cool. Got faith. Get out, of, get out of here, barbarians. I'm sick of your nonsense right now. Uh, yeah, I, I need plus two happiness from each luxury resource. That's just... That's necessary to live. Right now. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's that's everything. Unit promotion. Let's get you drill, buddy. That's what you need. Kill him. Okay, so, what can we benefit the most from? Um, kill him! Oh god, you guys suck. We don't really have a lot here in terms of pantheons or, like... Mm. God King Palace provides plus one to culture, faith, gold, hammer, and or production and science. I think Earth Mother is pretty good for each copper, iron, and salt resource. I plan on having a city here sometime, so that'd be good. And I already have some salt here, so... I could also go for fertility rights to get some extra growth in my cities. Uh, let's go for the Jimmy Jam, the Diggly Dang Darn. Earth Mother. That's the one I want, right? Right. Okay, we got it. Yep, everything good? Everything's good. Okay. Oh, that is a lot of barbarians. Let's stay away from them, uh, if at all possible. Yeah, that is an unforeseen consequence of having an island to myself, is that there are a million barbarians everywhere I go. Um, God damn it. Barbarians. Stop destroying all of my beautiful farms, you monsters. You're just a bunch of animals, aren't you? I want to kind of whittle this guy down and then eventually nab him. I'm so glad we got the extra worker. Ugh, it's so good. Saved so much time. Okie dokes, McSmokes. Also, a little bit dull, so... Oh my god, I didn't even realize how good this place was. But that's way too far from our capital to even... It depends on how much we expand in general, but... Yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to have the happiness to sustain... 
expansion down here. So, that's unfortunate. And AI is probably going to settle there late game and be like, Oh, hey, what's up? I like, I like bacon. It's like, no, AI, that's a really stupid idea. You probably shouldn't have done that. You're settling on, on my island. It also sucks because we can't get any trade routes with um, the AI, which is actually fairly important if you don't know, because trade routes, if an AI is more technologically advanced than you, which they are... Hold on. Which they are. I am the most technologically illiterate because of the, the difficulties, like what, king? It's king, isn't it? Yeah or emperor. Um, so that may so that basically makes it so that the AI is much more um, ha has a lot more advantages. And one of them is being given certain technologies at the start, which makes it easier for them to kind of uh, propel themselves forward into the game. Unfortunately, so I need, so and that's why I'm kind of so eager to get libraries up and to get population up because of the whole science issue. Mm. After you finish this farm, buddy, I'm gonna have you build a road. All right, all right. thing is, besides El Dorado, there's really not a lot here. <laughs> I mean, um, this in general is a good spot for a city, but there's no luxuries nearby, which means that the I wouldn't really be getting a return on my happiness investment by settling there. Um, I guess I could settle here, and that'd be one, two, yeah, that'd be within range. Uh, yeah, I think this would be a pretty good spot, because I would be able to have... Um, I would have production, food, um, a luxury resource, let's see, I might have, and then I, w I would obviously have food from all these ocean tiles, um, and plenty of production, with Eldorado in reach, so I think this is actually a pretty good place to settle, um, the only thing that's unfortunate is I wouldn't be able to, or I would have a very if i if i also wanted this iron then i would have to have like a a, a huge cluster of cities which isn't ideal so and what can i do with you nothing okay so i would i would have to like have this huge cluster of cities but then again my borders can't expand naturally to to grab that and it's only two iron it and my i don't think any of my unique units yeah nothing about this sieve actually uses iron specifically um so i don't know how useful that would actually be having that iron it's just kind of more of a trading trading deal okay so um I think we'll finish off by researching philosophy to get the National College so that we can have more science buildings. Yeah, or that so that we can have a better science output. So, without further ado, I would like to thank everyone for watching. I'm trying to keep these episodes as short as possible, like, or for a Civ game as short as possible. So, I'm um, kind of trying to cut them off around 20 minutes. I already went over. This is already 21 minutes, plus the time I spent at the beginning. Not, not measuring the time. So, yeah, this is unorthodox. See you all later. Have a good day.